Mr. Speaker, I have in my hands this is a copy of election observa observer laws. Let's see, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, all of them have, and by the way, they, a lot of them mentioned partisan observers are permitted <coughs> to be present when ballots are counted. But we get report after report that they're not being allowed to observe. Is that a violation of law? And how do you remedy that? You know, I think I've been active in this since 1958. That's 62 years. I am the angriest I have been in that entire six decades. You have a group of corrupt people who have absolute contempt for the American people, who believe that we are so spineless, so cowardly, so unwilling to stand up for ourselves, that they can steal the presidency and we'll wring our hands, bring in a few lawyers, and do nothing. My hope is that President Trump will lead the millions of Americans who understand exactly what's going on. The Philadelphia machine is corrupt. The, the Atlanta machine is corrupt. The machine in Detroit is corrupt. And they're trying to steal the presidency, and we should not allow them to do that. First of all, under federal law, we should lock up the people who are breaking the law. You stop somebody from being an observer, you just broke federal law. You hide and put up paper so nobody can see what you're doing, you just broke federal law. You bring in ballots that aren't real, you just broke federal law. I am sick and tired of corrupt left-wing Democrats who believe that we are too timid and too easy to intimidate and therefore let us go out and steal it. That, that's exactly, I mean, no one should have any doubt. You are watching an effort to steal the presidency of the United States, and this is not about Donald Trump. This is about the American people. Do the American people have the right in an honest election with honest, legitimate ballots to pick their leader? Or are we now just sheep to be dominated by the high-tech businesses, the news media, and the various political machines, and are we supposed to surrender? So I think this is one of the great, this is a crisis in the American system, comparable to Washington on Christmas Eve, or comparable to Lincoln at Gettysburg. This is a genuine, deep crisis of our survival. So what is the answer now that the law has been violated and observers <clears throat> have been kicked out? It, doesn't it render the, the, first answer the vote is for, illegitimate? The first answer is for the attorney. Look, the attorney general this afternoon issued an order that federal agents could carry guns in the pursuit of people who are breaking the law. That's a signal. The president should simply calmly announce that anyone who is caught attempting to steal votes or attempting to Mr. block Speaker, people have, we're running out from of time, making sure it's honest. It's already happened. The votes already have been counted, and they didn't have observers that they were kept away. You take them back. You, you say back? flatly, any precinct, any precinct that we were not able to observe, strip those votes out. Do not count them because they're by definition corrupt. All right.